In this video, you'll earn your yellow belt in Google Drawings. You'll do this by creating a diagram of an animal. We will insert a PNG file, which is a transparent image, use text boxes and lines to create the labels. We'll change the font of our text and the size of our text. So I'm going to go back to my drawing by going up here in the tab. And the first thing I need to do is insert a PNG of an animal. So the image tool is right here. I'm going to click on this image button. I could also go to insert image. I'm going to click on the insert image button. And I want to find an elephant PNG file. So I'm going to type elephant and then I put a space and I put .png. So it's going to search for two different terms, elephant and .png. And if I click on this image right here, I can see it's a PNG file because it ends in .png. So once it's got the blue outline around it, I can sl click select. And notice that it looks like it's cut out. You can see my background color all the way around it. And the next thing I want to do is insert text boxes and lines to help me make labels. So a uh, text box is this uh, tool right here with the T. And I just have to draw it. And then I can type what it is. So I'm going to type trunk. And then I'm going to insert an arrow. So if I go up here to the line tool and I choose arrow, so I, I clicked on the triangle next to it, it lets me choose a different kind of line. Click on arrow. And now if I click on this purple dot that highlights, it will attach it to that text box. The advantage of this is if I, so if I'm going to go back and get my selector tool so I can move around, if I move the word around like this, notice that the line goes with it. That's kind of useful, especially if I need to move things around to make things fit. Like I think I want to put the trunk, the word trunk down here, and then all I have to do is move the arrow by clicking on the purple dots and it will change. I want this arrow to be a little bit thicker, so I'm going to go up to the line weight. I'm going to change it to 4. That's good. And I want this to attach to the top of the box now. Excellent. Okay. And the last thing that I need to do is change the font and the size of the font. So I'm going to double click and highlight the word trunk. And then I'm going to change the font to, I think I'm going to use ribeye. And I'm going to make it um, a size 48. Make my box a little bigger. That's nice. That earns me my yellow belt in Google Drawings.